Professor Pee Wee here from Einstein's Entertainers with the first of many science experiments and videos that you guys can do at home. Now the first video that we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making paper helicopters. Ready? Here we go. Whew. So, to make a paper helicopter you are going to need a template. Now, we have put this template onto our webpage which is in the link below. Now don't worry if you don't have a printer to print it out because you can also just do it with a normal piece of paper. But it's just a little bit easier if you can follow the instructions on here. So, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your template or a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, so you might want an adult to help you with this when you're cutting, and a paper clip. So, first things first is we need to cut out our template. Now, before you cut it out, if you wanted to, you might see that there are two templates on here. Now we've done that because if you wanted to, you might have, be able to have a race with your sibling or your mum or dad or someone. So what we tend to do is we like to colour them in so you can know whose is whose. So the first thing is, is to cut out your template. your template and don't forget with the excess bits of paper to put them into the recycling. So we're going to put those into the recycling. Now, our logo is at the top of our helicopter so you want to hold that facing towards the sea. Now, you might also be able to see that we have two different coloured lines on here. We have a blue dotted line and we have red lines. Now the red lines are the ones you need to cut and the blue dotted ones are the ones we need to fold. So first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to cut these two red lines. So we're going to cut those there. We're going to do one snip here. And another snip on the other side. And then what we're going to do is we are now going to fold these towards the back. So we're going to fold one towards the back like this. So it folds over like that towards the back. So now, if you hold it up with the logos facing towards the ceiling, we now have what it looks like a really big T. So the next bit that we need to do is this big red line down here is we need to cut this one as well. So we're going to cut down here. Now, with this now cut, can you see that they can go both ways? Fold them both ways. So we're going to fold one with the logo space towards the ceiling, and fold one towards the front, and one towards the back. Now these act as your propellers. So you don't want to fold, uh, fold over like that, you want them a bit like that so they can catch the air. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our paper clip to the bottom of our helicopter. So now what you do is you make sure that the paper clip is facing towards the floor because when we pull it up, when we push it, put it up and we let go, what force is bringing it back down? That's right, gravity. So we hold it up and we hold it really, really high and then we let go. Ready? Three, two, one, woo! There we go. And there we have our helicopter. But don't worry if you don't have a paper clip because what you could also use to weigh it down is you could use some staples or you could use some blue tack and just put it at the bottom and it will pull it down, ready? Here we go, woo! Now, tomorrow what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an experiment with some skittles. So you might want to try and get some skittles in. Uh, now guys, don't forget to wash your hands and to keep safe, but also don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you soon guys, bye!